on radio sets, repairs, and electric current. And since the airways are considered public property, the Federal Communications Commission is charged with the responsibility of protecting the people's interest. The FCC has the authority to grant or refuse licenses for broadcasting stations based mainly on available wavelengths. And each three years, every U.S. station must apply to the Commission for license renewal. But throughout its 13-year history, the FCC rejected renewal applications only four times, while flagrant cases of transgressions against good taste and program balance continued unchecked. Pointing out radio's failure to live up to its obligation to the public, an FCC report indicates that most U.S. stations heavily overload their airtime with commercials. Guilty of such excessive commercials, your presence. Um, before we begin, um, given the intense interest in the cautioned us not to attempt the future's portal with the past blood. For these reasons, we have embraced a challenge unparalleled in the FCC's history. We collected a thorough record, analyzed our broadcast ownership rules from the ground up, and wrote rules that match the times. For the first time, we documented the state of the entire industry empirically analyze different transactions and their effect on our diversity goals, and, I think most importantly, sought the views of our citizens as to how they obtain